Hey guys, welcome to my video. This is the final video for the FabFitFun Fall 2020 add-on sale, and this is the category hair. Before we get into the video, I wanna do a shameless plug for my video that's going to be posting later this afternoon. That video is a video with, it's a collab with my favorite FabFitFun YouTuber, Katherine McCarty. We're both going to be unboxing a mystery bundle that we received in a previous sale, the surprise sale. You will not want to miss this if you're at all interested in mystery bundles. If you haven't ever purchased a mystery bundle, come watch us be silly and compete on something we have zero control over. In order to shop the FabFitFun sale, you must be a FabFitFun member. I will put my referral link down below. You get $10 off your first box if you use a referral link. This video is gonna contain everything. If you click on beauty and then scroll down and click on the word hair, everything in that category will be in this video. We're gonna do it A through Z or alphabetically so you can search for the brand that you're looking for if you're looking for something specific. Our first product is After Spa Hair Towel Wrap. This did not have enough reviews available and it's made in China. For the almost famous digital two-in-one twist flat iron, this had a 4.2 star rating with 14 reviewers. Positive reviews said it works well as both a straightener and a curler and that it's great for travel. There were not really any trends for negative reviews and this one is made in China. For all the rest of the almost famous products, there were not enough reviews available and all of them were made in China. This includes the mini travel dryer with holotone carrying bag, the 1.25 inch Tropico getaway flat iron, the digital two-in-one straightening and curling system in pink martini, the mini travel dryer with carrying bag in scarlet, the studio series Tropico getaway flat iron in watermelon, the swept away two-in-one volumizing dryer and blowout brush. For the Amica Bust Your Brass Violet Leave-In Treatment Foam, this is a 4.6 star rating with 365 reviewers. Again, I didn't find any negative trends, but there were a lot of positives. Works for brassy tones, works as a deep conditioner, great for icy blonde or ashy blonde hair. This product was made in the USA. For the Amiga Phantom Hydrating Dry Shampoo Foam, this one has a 3.9 star rating with 344 reviewers. Positives say it's great for not leaving powder or white cast on darker hair. For the negatives, they said the nozzle was broken or they had difficulty getting the product dispensed and the scent is too strong. This one is made in the USA. For the Aukis Rebalancing Hair Wash, this one had a 4.3 star rating with 30 reviewers. And positives say it's great for frizzy hair or dry or damaged hair. The negative reviews were a lot of people that had fine hair actually, so it seems like it's not the best for fine hair, and people saying it was either too heavy or too greasy, which makes sense that it wouldn't work for fine hair. This one is made in Canada. For the Bee and Beauty Iconic Straightening Brush, not enough reviews available, made in China. For the Busy Beauty Hibiscus Dry Shampoo Multi-Pack, not enough reviews available, made in China. For the Christoph Robin Antioxidant Conditioner with four oils and blueberry, it has a 4.3 star rating with 78 reviewers. The positive reviewers said it has a blueberry scent or blueberry pie scent, that it's lightweight and it take your time when you're washing it out. The negative said it had a greasy feel or a dirty look and they actually described the scent differently. They said it was a chemical scent, but there was only two negatives that said that. This one is made in Italy. For the Christoph Robin Cleansing Volumizing Paste, this one had a 4.1 star rating with 1,439 reviews. Positive reviewers say it's volumizing, it cleans oily scalp, it's rose scented, and it's a clay to foam formula. The negatives say it tangled their hair, their hair was made dry afterwards, or it has a strong scent, and this one is made in Italy. For three of the products from Design Me Hair, the Bounce Me Curl Balm, the Gloss Me Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner Duo, and the Gloss Me Treatment Mask. There were not enough reviews available and all three were made in Canada. For the Design Me Hair Puff Me Volumizing Powder, this had a 4.4 star rating with 55 reviewers. The positive reviews say it thickens hair, it works as a dry shampoo, it's lightweight, and it, the results last for a long time. The negatives say it's not good for dark hair because it leaves it white, and that they did not like the packaging. This product is also made in Canada. For the DP Hue Cool Brunette Shampoo and Conditioner Duo, this has a 3.6 star rating with 18 reviewers. The positive reviews say it smells great, and some reviewers did say they saw a difference, but most did not, leading me to the negative reviews. The negatives say it does not color correct brassy or orange hair. 
This product is made in Italy. For the Earth Harbor Beach Waves Ocean Hair Texturizer, not enough reviews available and made in the USA. For the Fat Boy Daily Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner Duo, not enough reviews available, also made in the USA. For the Fat Boy Defining Finish Flexible Hold Hairspray, this is a 4.2 star rating with 28 reviews. The positives say it holds waves or it's a light hold, and the negatives say it doesn't hold too well and they didn't like the scent. This one was made in the US. For the Fat Boy Styling Cream is a 4.9 star rating with 12 reviewers, and the positives say it's great for frizz and it's great for adding volume. This product was made in New Zealand. For the Fat Boy Tacky Oil, this had a 4.5 star rating with 17 reviewers. Positives say that it adds shine, adds volume, or body to hair. And this one is made in the US. For the Foxy Bay Rose Gold 3-in-1 Curling Wand, this has a 4.4 star rating with 95 reviewers. Positives say it heats up quickly, it's easy to change the barrels. Negatives were that either they burn themselves or that they should provide a heat glove or maybe go buy a heat glove before you use this. This was made in China. For the Foxy Bay Rose Gold Straightening Brush, this is a 4.1 star rating with 264 reviewers. Positives say it adds volume, it's great for frizz. Negatives say it takes longer than a regular straightener, it doesn't straighten completely, or it adds poofiness. This one is made in China. For the Glisser Hair Essentials Curl and Straightener Duo, not enough reviews available made in China. For the Hair Fetish Mini Flat Iron with Designer Travel Pouch, not enough reviews available made in China. For the Odness 1925mm Graduated Clipless Curling Wand, not enough reviews available and made in China. For the Jose Hebert 1.5 inch Wet Dry Flat Iron, this is a 4.7 star rating with 12 reviewers. The positives say it heats evenly and it works well, it leaves your hair shiny. The negatives say using it on wet hair can damage your hair or it can add frizz. This one is made in China. For the Jose Hebert Vibrating 1.5 inch Flat Iron, this had a 4.3 star rating with 22 reviewers. Positives say there was less damage than other straighteners and they last forever, it's good quality. Negatives say it takes too long to straighten or it's loud vibrating. This one is made in China. For the Jose Hebert Signature 2 inch flat iron and the Curve flat iron, there was not enough reviews available and also made in China. For three of the Kim Kimball bands, the 1.5 inch vibrating flat iron, the 2 inch silk quisp quick pass flat iron, and the hybrid quick dryer, not enough reviews available and all three were made in China. For the Kim Kimball Deep Conditioning Argon Oil Hair Mask, this was not enough reviews available as well, but this one was made in the US. For the Living Proof No Frizz Shampoo and Conditioner Duo, this had a 4.2 star rating for the shampoo and a 4.4 star rating for the conditioner. Positives were that they have a great scent, they're both smoothing, they improve hair over time. For the conditioner, there was also a lot of trends saying it detangles hair. Negatives were mostly about how expensive it is or that it was in good value. This one was made in the USA. For the Living Proof No Frizz Intense Moisture Mask, this has a 4.2 star rating with 97 reviewers. Positives say it's great replacement of conditioner or it's good as a treatment and it reduces frizz. Negatives say it's not enough moisture for curly hair or dry and damaged hair. This was made in the US. For the Living Proof No Frizz Nourishing Style Cream, a 4.4 star rating with 2,704 reviewers. Positive reviewers say it's lightweight, a great scent, and it does actually control frizz. Negatives say it's either too expensive or the scent is too strong. This was made in the US. For the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day PhD in Shower Styler, this had 3.9 stars with 1,355 reviewers. Positives say it styles while maintaining moisture and it's best for a dry climate and it works well for curls. Negatives say there was a lot of product buildup and it's not great for straight hair. This one is made in the US. For the Marrakesh oil, this has a 4.8 star rating with 433 reviewers. Positives say it works on frizz, be careful not to add too much. It's also a great herbal scent, it's a healthy scent or a fresh scent. And this one did not have any negative trends. This was made in the US. For the Marrakesh leave-in treatment and detangler, this has a 4.7 star rating with 81 reviewers. Positive say it works on dry hair, it detangles, a little goes a long way, and it has great ingredients. Negative say it's oily on thin hair or it's not good for healthy hair. And this was made in the US. For the Mother Dirt Shampoo, this is a 4.6 star rating with 293 reviewers. Positive say it cleans hair well and it's great for oily hair types and it's a very clean formula. Negative say it has a dried out feeling or a too clean feeling. And someone described it as a tuggy feeling. This one is made in the US. For the Philip B. Jet Set Precision Control Hairspray, this had a 4.3 star rating with 14 reviews. 
Positive say it's a great hold, it's not sticky and has a nice feel. And there was only one review that was negative and it just said, this is just an average fair hairspray. This was made in the US. For the Philip B. Weightless Conditioning Water, 4.7 star rating with 15 reviewers. Positive say it softens hair or it has a silky feel and you can see results quickly after just one use. Negative said it's average or similar to store brands and this is made in the US. For the R & Co Aircraft Pomade Mousse, a 4.6 star rating with 21 reviewers. Positive trends are that it's great for curls and that it keeps curls bouncy, not crunchy. This one did not have any negative trends and this is made in the US. For the R & Co Bright Shadows Root Touch-Up Spray, this had a 3.6 star rating with 52 reviews. Positive say it's good coverage, easy application, and they like that this did not have any scent. Negative say it's average or it's stained and it gives your hair a hard hairspray feeling afterwards. This is made in the US. For the R & Co Death Valley Dry Shampoo, a 4.3 star rating with 408 reviewers. This one is made in the US. For the R & Co Neon Lights Dry Oil Spray, a 4.4 star rating with 20 reviewers. It says it's great for frizzy hair, works on dry ends of long hair. Negative say it's too greasy and this is made in the US. For the R & Co Two Way Mirror Smoothing Oil, a 4.6 star rating with 28 reviewers. Positive say it's a light oil, it works well in humidity and it has a pine scent. There was only one negative and the negative was that you use up the product too quickly and this is not a great value. This one is made in the US. Both the Save Me products, Save Me From Pollution and Save Me From Product Overload were not enough reviews available and both made in the USA. For the Lifestyle Co. Super Rich 2-in-1 Botanical Detangler Spray and Leave-In Conditioner, not enough reviews available, also made in the USA. For the Tiri Pro Detangle and Style 3-Piece Bundle, not enough reviews available and made in China. For the Tropical Naturals Herbal Hair Tea, not enough reviews available and made in the US. For the Voir Perfecting Prism Color Protecting Pre-Shampoo Treatment, 4.9 stars with 19 reviews. Positive say, apply to damp hair, not dry hair. It's great for damaged hair and it helps your color last a lot longer as well. This one is made in Canada. The last item, the Voir Rainforest Mist Finish Hairspray has a 3.9 star rating with 15 reviews. Positive say it adds shine, it has a great scent, and they love that it's non-aerosol and they say it's a good non-aerosol. The negative said it made their hair either feel dirty or sticky or that it was looking dirty. And this is made in Canada. So that's our last video for the FabFitFun edit sale the hair care video. Make sure that you edit your cart by 11.59 p.m. today, August 5th. If you're watching this on August 6th, you're too late and you already got billed for what was in your cart. Make sure you go edit your cart. I think by the time I post this, you will maybe have 12 hours. Fingers crossed that I can get this posted before noon. Also make sure that you catch mine and Catherine's video later this afternoon just to see what some mystery bundles look like and it's gonna be a fun video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.